Hey, what's going on everybody? Elric here once again on Tech of Tomorrow. You guys might have wondered why we've had so many just kind of the same videos. Well, the reason is, is that we have been moving with no computer access, but we are back. And even though we're a little bit late, we know there's still lots of our fans out there who want to check out the Founders Edition GTX 1060 from the folks over at NVIDIA. Now, this is basically their brand new entry-level card. Guaranteed you guys know to fight against that 480. So with that said though, let's check out some basic specs how big the card is and uh, hmm, what it looks like. Yeah. So you guys can see right off the bat, this is a Founders Edition card. It has all of their standard cooling and all that good stuff, featuring a single fan and a single six pin power connector. Now power requirements on this card are extremely, extremely low. All you need is 120 watts of power to power this card. So that's really amazing. Very low power consumption. I'm sure we're gonna see in aftermarket models, we're gonna see a lot of different stuff. Now, as far as the back panel goes, you guys can see there is no great shield in the back of this, but there's no sharp parts either. So it's kind of a mixed toss up. You don't get that great shield, but then again, you don't get your hands all cutting you up either, which is a good thing. I hate being cut by the back of a video card. If you've ever got it done to yourself, you know what I'm talking about. As far as CUDA cores go, this unit comes with 1280 CUDA cores, and like I said, is geared totally for the entry level market. Now, as far as the connections go, we're seeing the same setup that we saw on the 1080 and the 1070. We have a single DVID connector, a single HDMI connector, and then we have three display ports. So that's what the card looks like and the limited amount of specs that we're allowed to talk to you with right now. But as far as the card sizing in, it sizes in at 10 inches long by four inches high by a dual slot design. Also, later this month, for you people out there who have seen it before, NVIDIA's VR Funhouse will be available for everybody to download and buy later this month. So if you're one of those people that's totally into VR, stick around because Funhouse is coming. On some of the higher end cards, like the 1080 and the 1070, we saw there were some cards out there that had GDDR5 X memory in them, and some had just standard GDDR5. This card has six gigabytes of just standard GDDR5 memory. Now the base clock speed, we're not quite sure because we haven't stuck it in the system yet, but the clock speed that they're saying is the boost is at 1.7 gigahertz. And for a card that's coming to market for the Founders Edition at $299, that's pretty damn kick ass. Plus we're gonna see there's gonna be a bunch of editions outside of the Founders Edition coming to the market starting at about $249. So this is definitely going to be crushing in on the 480 and coming for your budget money. Now $299, I do admit it is slightly higher than you're seeing on the AMD side of things, but you're also seeing kind of a difference in memory as well. They have a four gigabyte and an eight gigabyte version of cards. And right now there's no six gigabyte version. So that makes the 1060 a very, very interesting animal all in itself. Another thing to take note of, both of the previous cards, the 1080 and the 1070, were both based on GP104. This is actually based on a brand new Pascal chipset called GP106. Another really big thing that NVIDIA is touting big time about the 1060 is the ability to overclock this card to two gigahertz without a problem at all. And we're hoping that when this card gets released on July 19th, that we'll be able to bring that to you and that this card will be able to do that. And if so, that's gonna be pretty amazing. You guys know it was kind of the rolling the dice on the 1070 and 1080, depending on which card you got, if you could actually do that. We only saw one card out of all the cards that we actually tested that did that. So if all the 10 sexes are gonna do this, out of the box, that's gonna be some pretty bad ass stuff. So pretty much folks, at the end of the day, this is what this card is. It's supposed to be 980 level performance, but only with a power draw of 120 watts. And with the price tag being under $300 for the Founders Edition and $249 for companies like MSI and all the rest, that's gonna be a very, very interesting thing to see all of these scores and where it fits in. I'm Elric, you guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. This is the brand new NVIDIA GTX 1060. Scores coming very soon, so stay tuned.